Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Diana. Um, today is day 13, post-op. Um, <laughs> just doing my violations again. Um, twice a day, or one hour each time. Um, so, let's see. Um, tomorrow is gonna be possibly when I start my estrogen again, which is kind of nice. I'm looking forward to that. Um, that dilation has been really uncomfortable. Um, so it kind of sucks that I have to do it twice a day for an hour. I'm looking forward to, um, to that being reduced over time. Yesterday, I finally left the hospital, um, went to the 7-Eleven, uh, bought some junk food, and then, and then again at night to get dinner. Oh, I also got this little bunny thing. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, got it just like kind of on the streets. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's what's happening. Oh my gosh, it's, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'll drop this on my face. <laughs> um, so I, I am getting better over time. I'm hurting less, but it still hurts. Like, it kind of sucks. <sighs> Let's see what happens next week, right? Hopefully it'll be better next week. Um, missing home a lot. I just kind of want to go home. Um, might, might try to go to the mall next week if I feel better. Um, I, I'm having trouble like sitting up right now. I can, I can stand up and I can walk in a really weird way. I can do that, but like sitting down is not good for me. I can lie down, lie down is good, um, but sitting up is like the worst. Cause like when I sit up, I have to bend, right? And then it, it's, it kind of creates a pressure down there and, and that's not good. It's uncomfortable and painful. <sighs> so um, I'm just like not sitting down most of the time. Um, this is like, you know, just me dilating still. <laughs> so, sometimes I, I've, I'm so tired when I'm dilating, I'm like almost falling asleep. Uh, but then I'm just like holding onto that stupid ribbon, like really tight. I'm like, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. <laughs> Um, when I go home, I'll try and figure out an easier way where I don't have to hold on to the stupid ribbon. <laughs> I don't know how, but like, we'll see what happens. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Overall, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, that first week was really bad. It was like really rough for me. I was really depressed. Um, like I didn't, I didn't want to say it, but I was, I was a little bit suicidal on that first week, and uh, and I haven't been for such a long time too. So it's like, it was really bad. So if anybody's doing this, like you gotta really brace yourself on that. Um, like, I still think that it looks weird down there right now, but they assure me that it's gonna, it's because of the swelling. I don't, like, it's, it's really difficult, but like, I'm just trying to take the word for it right now. So that's what's happening. Um, but, you know, now that I, I am able to get up more and walk around more and uh, pee better, <laughs> P 
skiing is still a struggle, guys. It's a huge struggle. Uh, I don't always pee when I want to, meaning that I end up peeing myself. It's been it's been really rough, uh, but things are getting better on all fronts. Like the swelling seems to be going down a little. Um, I'm peeing better now. Uh, I'm able to walk. There's less pain when I'm like sleeping and stuff with that. Uh, still some. Sometimes like it just hurts even when you're doing nothing and you don't know what to, like you just, I'm just like sleeping there and I'm like, oh my god, please go away. <laughs> um, but there are like really nice moments where like, like, you know, if I'm showering and stuff and like brief moments where I can see my vagina, like, like, if we're brief moments where it feels like my vagina. Um, looking forward to it being normalized right now. It's mostly just a giant mess. <laughs> uh, but there are moments, there are moments. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about those. Um, now, I had planned to do a lot of like homework while I was here, but since I can't like sit down, and it's like when I'm lying down, I just don't want to do any homework. I can't do it when I'm standing up, so I was like, I'm just, I haven't been feeling up to it yet so to do homework. And I might just have to end up doing it when I get home, or things like that, which is not good because then I'm really, really like low on time. Yeah. Um, it looks like I might have to skip one semester. Mm, the summer semester. I really don't want to, but well, I think I already missed the registration and I didn't do it online, so it was like yeah. I'll just have to wait for I'll just have to wait for the summer. I'm in spring. I miss the spring and everything. Uh, so, it's a little disappointing, but it's okay. You give, me, give myself a little more time. So, oh, I do have something I want to say. Like, a little bit of a hindsight kind of thing. Um, Now, before I did the surgery, I kind of knew that, like they said, I don't have to do, like, laser down there because they, like, what they do is they, they scrape the hair follicles off before they use it for the skin graft so there's no hair. I misunderstood that as they do it for the whole area, but they only do it for the areas that go inside. So what ends up happening is like my outside still has hair, which is fine. I mean, it looks kind of like more authentic, I guess. But the thing is, on the folds that have the hair follicles, like the hairs are growing out, it's kind of pricking at it. And like during the recover, like the first little bit of recovery, it was terrible. The pain was like, it was like getting stabbed by needles. I don't know if it was from the from that or if it was from like other things, but like that was definitely part of it as well. Uh, sorry, I had to fix it. <laughs> Ow, my fingers hurt. Um, so yeah, um, a little bit of a uh, heads up if anybody's interested in doing this and they don't want it and like they know for sure they don't want the hair down there. Might be a good idea to get rid of them first. Do some laser or electrolysis before you do the surgery. Um, it'll save you a little bit of a uncomfortable, unnecessary pain. Uh, I, I kind of wish I did. Mm. So, like, I can try and explain the situation down there right now. Um, so, like, you know, picture the, the vagina, right? Like, 
just like where the clit is and the, where the opening is, the canal opening is. Um, if I look at, if I take a picture of my vagina, the bottom half of the vagina looks looks pretty good. The top half does not. The top half looks like a mess, and that's the part that I, that kind of freaked me out at the start. Um, but it's they assure me that part was the, it's because of the swelling, and it will go down, and then it will be like all right. So that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to, I guess. Just waiting for. Mm. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I think I'm meeting the doctor and hopefully I'll get my estrogen and then get back on track of that and then that will be week two of post-op uh, entering into week three and then the final week and then I'll be going home and uh, just looking forward to going home <laughs> uh, yeah, so Okay, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll make another video um, soonish. <laughs> Take care. Bye.